So welcome everybody into this new Canva video. So in this tutorial, let's take a look of how we can create a landing page here using Canva.com. As you can see here, I have a few tabs uh, speaking about the campaign that you can do into MailChimp.com because it's a place that you can create uh, your landing page. You can do that totally for free. But I'm just using this as a reference if I want to create a landing page. For example, here, uh, let's go into the sign up landing page section here. Uh, let's say, for example, I'm going to go into start and I want to begin. It's going to be showing me like a template that I can use for creating here uh, a landing page. As you can see, there are a bunch. So as you can see, there are a bunch of things that we can use uh, in order to inspire ourselves to create um, a landing page. Now, if you don't have any idea, we can go back into Canva uh, so we can log in and we can create our account. If you don't have an account, you can just log into your email using your email, your Facebook or your Google account. And voila, you're now into Canva. Now, if you go into the search your content on Canva, let's take a look to the um, keywords of landing page. So let's see if there are a few uh, templates that we can use in order for uh, just generating a new landing page as you can see there are a bunch of things that we can use here just try to use the one that fits for your content and you can change that later just uh try to use that not appears with the paid or the pro section you want to use something like for example this one says paid so i, I don't i don't want to do use, use, use this so and now i want to scroll down i want to take a look at something a little bit more for free or if I choose to scroll down, I want to enable the free option so I can see that all that are available in here are totally for free. So let's say, for example, I want to use uh, this one right in here. As you can see, this is designed, it's like to um, basic here. So, for example, as you can see, here's the new collection, the long wait is over. So, what I can do is to change here uh, my new text in here the new app the long wait is over you can write here the information about the thing you're going to be talking about and as you can see you're going to go into got it you can go into the element section and you can select whether the frames lines squares and different things in order to making your landing page uh, more accessible in here so what i did a lot is to select for example here uh, a template that I like to use here into MailChimp and I try to maybe not copy paste but try to do the same uh, thing here so for example if I want to uh, take a look here into this landing page of it's really simple if for me it really works that's something that I like to use so I'm gonna go back into Canva I want to close this and I want to create a new template here I want to create here my design here and as you can see, we can create a presentation here, a poster, a uh, Facebook cover, Instagram post. In my case, I want to use a presentation mm -hmm. so I can uh, use these dimensions for my landing page. As you can see, this one looks a little bit more square. So if you want, you can use a custom size. For example, mm -hmm. you can select into Google, go into landing page, uh, size, dimensions, and it's going to be appearing in here. So as you can see here is desktop landing page dimensions, uh, 1024 by 768. So 1024, 768. And I want to create my new design here. So as you can see here is a little bit more square, right? So I'm going to go and select here my um, reference here. So as you can see, I can, I can go and look for an image in here. For example, I want to go once again into my designs here i want to go into the photo section so i can look for some stock image in here so let's say i want to sell a guitar right so for example here i want to look for one that feels uh, accurate here so let's say i want to use this image i want to put it right in here so after that i want to uh, select here the back page so I can change the background color. Uh, let's say you want to choose a brown one or let's choose a document color. So let's try to use something more attractive. Or I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't like that a lot. All right. So I'm going to go into my elements once again. I'm going to select here my text in here. So I'm going to choose and I want to scroll this a little bit down so I can choose, for example, 
a text that can be related with my image in here so I'm gonna scroll this a little bit uh, down and resize that so if I want to I can copy paste this one and I want to resize that so I can enter a few text in here so once again I'm gonna copy paste in here I'm gonna put in here sign up I'm gonna put it right in here like in here and then what I want to do is to go into my elements and try to look for a shape like a box something like this so in this section we want to fill the information about signing up so you just need to put it like maybe in here I'm gonna copy paste again this text so I can resize it later so I'm just gonna go enter your email and I can resize that a little bit smaller and I'm gonna put it in here actually I'm gonna do this a little bit small more smaller like something like this once again I'm gonna put it in here just a little bit more up and now as you can see it's a little bit uh, simple so what I want to do is to give it more creative stuff so let's try to see what we can do here into the element section I want to go into the lines and shapes I'm gonna go into see all so as you can see there are a bunch of things that we can use for example there's this line here so I can move this from this to this other side it kind of looks a little bit more um, creative here so you, you can go into the other shapes maybe I can select this um, and I, I can set this send this to the backwards send it to the back and I want to quit the transparency like 30% so it looks a little bit more professional just a little bit uh, more professional here and lastly let's say i want to use this um pattern here so i can put it right in here as you can see it looks a little bit more better and i want to put this a little bit more up so if i want to add like a frame in here i can select for example this this one right here so i can be moving this a little bit more like that so as you can see I'm just being creative here into Canva and it looks a little bit more uh, professional here so you can do whatever you want here into canva.com so after you fill and finish this you can import that and into your uh, landing page that you want to create so for example I'm using mailchimp.com so if I want to use a template here I can start by doing that or I can just uh, scroll a little bit down and use my own start from scratch and just import the one that we just created here into Canva. So I want to go back here into Canva. I want to share this one. I want to download this. And what I want to do is to select the file type. And you want to select the VNG file so you can import that. And just go into download. And there you go, guys. So as you can see, there are a bunch of things that we can do here into Canva. Once again, if you are not, again, if you are not comfortable creating your landing page from scratch, you can always go into the landing page section of the template. So you can select uh, a new one, and you don't have to start from scratch. I mean, you can select maybe this one, mm -hmm. and you can just go right away and edit that because it's already uh, been done. So you don't have to do absolutely anything by just putting here. Uh, your information about what you're selling and all that so let me know if you have any questions guys in the comment section thank you for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about Canva thank you once again for watching the video again and I'll see you next time